Okay, so let's take a look at themes in Silverstripe. Let's take an overview and we'll we'll get a good idea of, of how things fit together so you can create your own your own themes. Okay, so I'm in the code base here. Um, we have the themes directory and inside there is where you would have your theme. Um, we have the default theme which is simple, which is called simple and is simple. Um, this is where you would you would create your own theme uh, and just put it in there in a folder. Okay, to access your theme or change your theme in the CMS, if you go to settings, you would see theme here. It's got by def uh, by default it says you default theme. We can switch that to th simple. If you had another theme in there, you would have that option. So you would just save it there. So let's head back in here. Okay, so we're in themes simple. So the directory structure here it's um, very similar to any other CMS structure. So you've got your CSS files, images, JavaScript, templates, web fonts if you need them. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is obviously we'll look into the templates. So the default file here is called page.ss. Um, the .ss is um, a file extension for Silverstripe template files. Um, so if we open page.ss, here you'll see a fairly typical HTML file. Um, Silverstripe has its own templating engine. If you've used any other templating engine such as Smarty, um, you'll find this very easy to use. Um, very similar, very intuitive. So if we just quickly run down the this template file, you'll see as Typically we have a, a doc type. We've got IE only um, tags here. So we'll skip past there. So we're into the template proper now. So um, in the head section we have this thing here. So it's um, in these um, brackets here. So anything that goes in between these brackets, uh, they're they're template markers and anything in between there that gets processed before they, the template gets rendered. In this case we have um, base tag which is the um, the base element for HTML so it gives, um, so what actually gets processed in there is the base um, the base URL so if we just skip into a page here I'll open up about us, if I open up Firebug, if I'm in Firefox, yes I am. So if we open up the head, we have the base element here, and it's just my URL. So it's http colon slash slash myssite.com. So any um, CSS files or image files um, now know where, to, you know, the, the browser knows where to find them. Okay, so next we're going to the title tag. Um, and here we've just got a conditional statement. We'll cover conditional statements in a later tutorial. So all you need to know now is if we have a meta title, display meta title, else, show title, and then out of the conditional block we've got site config title. So we're looking in the, the site config um, object and we're using title. So where title is being taken from and site config title. Um, if we jump into the CMS again in oh okay so we're in pages if I just come out of there. This is title, page title, um, also known as page name and for config title if we go into settings again here we have um, the site title and that's known as config title. So what we have here, so we've got about us which is the page title or page name then we've got your website title, your website title. Where are we? In here. So in this condition we don't have a meta title so we're dropping into the else condition, so 
we've got title and then we've got the arrows and then site config title hope that makes sense so then we can skip down to the meta tags so this displays the meta tags shown on your page so if we again if we go to about us for each page you have a block below the main content so this is description so um, and then in here you can put your custom meta tags so it could be um, anything that's just not a descriptive meta tag so if we save that save and publish which refresh that that should let's go F12 again where are we description this is my description okay and just to show you again this is my description okay so anything that we we were putting in there that would be sh that would show below okay okay so the next block here we've got um, theme.css reset typography form and layout so this is given the the base URL and in CSS we have editor form layout reset and typography so here we are all we're doing is displaying the the CSS files within the CSS folder okay so next row here we've got um, a variable here which is themed -er. so theme directory images favicon.ico so theme directory has taken us to the theme directory which is simple and then we're looking at images favicon so if we go simple images favicon.ico okay so we've finished the head block we'll jump through into the main body of the page first interesting thing we have to look at here is the include um, condition not condition is it the include block so um, what gets um, replaced here is the include directory so let's close this up okay so in the templates here includes so include and we've got header so if we go include, let's expand that, and header. So what you'll find in here, so it's a header.ss, so again it's a template file. If we open up header, you'll see we've got a HTML block of code, and inside here we just have some, uh, we've got the title, tagline, site config tagline. If we have a search form, display the search form just another conditional statement there and then we have another include navigation so again include navigation includes navigation so it's just another HTML block and while we're there we also have an include footer and then we have some JavaScript um, files included very similar to the way the CSS files are included so the, the the main interesting thing here is the this layout variable. So by default, when a page is rendered, it will hit the the browser will hit the the page.ss, and depending on the page type, um, depends on what layout will be displayed. So by default, because we've got the base install here. Uh, we only have the one page type and that page type is called page but if he if we had added another page type something like home page and we'd um, made the home page in the CMS the home page page type we would and we would do that by so in this case we would go home we would go to settings and we would have the option of page type 
and one of those would be home page. But currently I'm in page type is page. So once we'd selected home page um, we would have in the layouts we would have homepage.ss so we would go to the home page we would by default hit this, sorry, this page.ss and then the um, silver stripe would look in here and say do we have a homepage.ss if so let's um, let's use that code block if not we will jump into page.ss by default so page.ss has another block of HTML and in here we have um, an include of sidebar and again let's look in includes sidebar.ss so if we come through here we've got title which is the page title and then we have content which is the main WYSIWYG editor content for each page so content so in this case this is what's being displayed so that's the main main components of a of a template file so a theme is really just um, all the properties that make up a template so we've got the CSS images JavaScript templates all those together um, create a theme um, very simple to make your own you can just by following these simple um, simple steps from the um, simple theme um, you can see how how very quickly you would be able to put your own themes together um, later tutorials I'll show you how to add the navigation menus um, how to loop through um, different properties and we'll and go through some conditional statements but that's enough for now um, and I'll see you later